Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm the Crock-Pot Mom. I work full time and have a one-year-old baby, and I'm sure I'm like the rest of you. I just don't have the time to cook elaborate meals every day. So I've become totally obsessed with my Crock-Pot, and I've made so many delicious meals with it, and it's so convenient. I try to make as many meals throughout the week as possible. I'm always trying to find new ways to use it, so let me know down below if there's any cool recipes I should try. I'm always open to new things. So right now I'm currently browning up some ground beef for lasagna soup. Not sure if you guys have tried that. It's kind of the lazy mom way of making lasagna, but in a crock pot. So I picked up a 16 ounce package of the ground beef. Um, and you know what, sometimes if I have uh, ground sausage, I would use that, or I would do half and half, or ground turkey, you know, it's really just whatever I have in my fridge or my freezer, you know, I'm, I'm one of those types of cooks, I just throw whatever I have together. Um, sometimes I don't even follow recipes, it's just throw it all in and see how it tastes. And I'm actually not too concerned with it being fully cooked through like I normally would if I was eating it right now. Um, since it's going to be cooking in the crock pot, it's gonna have some extra time to cook. So again, I'm not totally concerned with some of the pink spots. But before I do finish it off, I'm going to add some salt. Actually, this is garlic salt. I'm obsessed with garlic, so I use garlic salt instead of salt most of the time. Don't tell my husband. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the oven. And I actually got a slotted spoon. Um, and I kind of like to drain off some of the grease. This ground beef I got pretty lean. Um, but I don't really like the soup to be too greasy, so I think I'm gonna add it on a paper towel just to see if I can get rid of some of the extra fat. I don't know if it'll get a lot, but hey, whatever works. Okay, before I start dumping the ingredients, I'm just gonna go over them really quick. It is so simple, guys, I can't even explain it. Um, there will be a couple more ingredients tomorrow, but I didn't mention, I am prepping this crock pot meal the night before. So tomorrow when I get up, right before work, I'll pop it out in the crock pot. Um, and all I have to do is just put it in, in, the, in the base. I don't have to, you know, empty any cans or anything like that. So it's going to be super easy in the morning. So we have that ground beef that we browned up. I chopped up a small onion. I have a can of diced tomatoes. Uh, a jar of my pasta sauce that you would use if you were eating pasta. And some chicken broth. And that's it, guys. Okay guys, that's all of the ingredients. So I'm just gonna pop it in the fridge, let it hang out in the morning. I'm gonna put it back into the crock pot base and let it cook on low for probably at least seven hours, if not eight. When I'm at work, my crock pot turns automatically to warm when it's reached um, the time limit I've posted. So I will see you back tomorrow with more ingredients to finish off the recipe. One more thing guys that I wanted to add. Um, I didn't add any extra seasoning because the pasta sauce had a lot already and I didn't want to get too overpowering. So tomorrow when it's warmed up and all the flavors have kind of um, blended together, we will give it a taste and see if we should add any more salt or basil or thyme, anything like that. So that's why I didn't add anything else. And since I'm here, I also steamed up some broccoli. So tomorrow, again, simple. All I have to do is warm up the broccoli and it's ready to go with the soup. And that's it. All right, so I'm back from work. The soup's been cooking all day. Now we have some lasagna noodles. Um, and these are raw, I didn't cook them. They are going to cook in the soup. So 
I'm finishing the soup off about an hour, maybe not even an hour before we are going to eat. Um, so the raw noodles, I just broke them up by hand, nothing special. And I have some heavy whipping cream just to thicken it up just a tad, not by much, but um, I like to add that a little bit. So we're going to add the noodles. And I'm going to add the whipping cream as well. And the soup went down to um, to warm after it cooked for about eight hours, 78 hours. Um, so I'm gonna put it back on high so the temperature can heat back up and cook the noodles. So I'm gonna let that go for probably 10, 15 minutes and check it and see how it looks. Um, because it went back to warm, it may not um, cook the same time the box would recommend. So I will see you guys back when the noodles are cooked and I will plate it up and um, show you how that looks. The noodles have cooked. I wanna say maybe it took about 20 minutes, 25 maybe, um, but it's been actually sitting here for about 30 minutes, um, just cause I haven't got around to plating it up. So, I've added some into some bowls, and I have some shredded mozzarella cheese and some ricotta. I'm not sure if you guys love ricotta, but I'm obsessed. So I don't eat it a lot, but um, since we're in the lasagna theme, I decided to add some to it.